It's a Kirby thing. Oh. I truly, I'm not sure. I can't see, dude. I have no idea. Some of, some of the chat has to know. They always yeah, know. He, oh, God. He, he does Mega Sash. I'm feeling good for Matt here. This is going to be good. I feel like he's going to get comboed to about 60 here from Sharp. Oh, yeah. I think heavy mains, they just accept that they're going to get comboed. And their game plan revolves around what do I do after I take like 70 plus? Yeah. <laughs> that was the old cheat mentality. Like, um, I was talking to Mars about fighting Sheik and Smash 4. I was like, what do I do? I feel like I just get hit forever. He's like, you just gotta accept that. That's how Sheik is. Like, he's just gonna hit you. And that applies, I feel like that philosophy applies to you. He's gonna hit you a lot sometimes, especially if you're a heavy. So, I think that's part of the game and not letting it tilt you, but I think it's a, a part of throwing as a player. Mm hmm. Right now, though, Sharp is not not slowing down whatsoever. Like, the thing that makes DDD kind of good is his ability to just, you know, set up the stage with the Gordos. But Sharp has not given him any opportunity to do that at all, really. Yeah, no. Not, not even a little bit. It's like, where does DDD find it? Drag down? Okay, I think he tried to drag down uh, forward smash, maybe? Yeah. If he got the right drag down, that was like F smash yeah. or down smash. He did say eat this mega smash, though. I think the strategy is clear from Matt, too. Down smash is slightly misplaced. Does it connect? I remember we're seeing it. Kind of an even game. It isn't even, actually. I'll play instead of Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what DD lives for. Like, living forever with rage or like character. Mm -hmm. He just needs the right read. Back throw. It truly doesn't send them anywhere. Okay. It's yeah, just like, how is, how is Matt going to get the kill? That's my only problem here. Like, he's doing pretty good. Like, he's living to 170. He's He's gotten this far. What is the next step? Oh, oh, oh okay. Nice timing. But, uh, I think what he's going to need is less of that. Uh, <laughs> no dash attacks on shield. Mm -hmm. But, well, uh, if it worked, it worked. You know what I'm saying? Back air, double back air. I love that turnaround in there. Sheik is oh, still a pretty sick character, I must say. Yeah, for sure. I love, love watching Sheik. But, uh, Dee's real strength is also once he gets you on the ledge, with, like, the ledge trap and the Gordos. Yeah. Like, catch a neutral get up, like, a down smash or something like that. But, again, we just haven't seen Matt really get an opportunity to do that. But, that trade's gonna work out in his favor. It's a good trade by Matt, for sure. He'll take the stock, and now he's just gonna rack up the damage. Gotta recover first, though. Oh jeez, that was a great idea. Good awareness for that. I like that. Yeah, but potentially been A, because I think Sharp would double jump. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, could have at least bought, like a trouble jump. Here you go, that's what you're talking about there, Shad. Get the pressure at the ledge. That's mm -hmm. good. Nice. Use a bouncing fish to just get around the Gordo. Don't even want to put it in a set play situation. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's going for the stuff right now, man. He knows he's behind by a lot. He's got to do something silly. Uh oh. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. That was very smart. Force him in shield with the burst grenade and then just grab him. But that is the tag, by the way. Oh, I gotta look at the stream. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to chat right Okay. All right. That's the thing though, like Sharp, if you really want to get sit back and charge needles and do nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that, that's a totally viable option. Yeah, I've seen him go over that strategy quite a bit, especially in the Sonic matchup. But there's the dash attack. I think he caught a spot dodge or a roll back. That move, it hits the kills really early. I'm afraid of throwing out that dash attack. It's so weird, like off tempo move. If, anyone, if they pull any defensive trigger, it's probably gonna hit. So, yeah, that man, that was yeah, eight games to hit. Oh, I like yeah. it. Oh, the Gordo taking through all the needles. If the needles connected there, needle bouncing fish might have been it. Damn, even by the way. Okay, bouncing fish? Not enough. Heavy boys, we live in that bouncing fish. At the ledge, though, no invincibility here, but Sharks is going to take the time and charge the needles. Kind of brought that up earlier that, you know, use his lead to just hang Ooh. on to the needles, play patient as possible. And man, I think DD being like so heavy made it so the window to hit Lightner and Bouncing Fish was larger than ever. Yeah. I love how they added the, the water effect to Bouncing Fish, by the way. That's so cool. Yeah, I like it too. Cool little touch.
She just, I think this is the best she has ever looked. Like the little armor pieces, the red scarf, like uh, extra scarf. Like I think it, it all came together. She looks awesome in this game. For sure. Yeah, I like the uh, choice to use the Breath of the Wild uh, design for Sheik, for sure. Hmm. All right, man, game one goes sharp, but that was kind of a nail biter at the end there, I gotta be honest with you. And that was definitely not what I expected. Knowing Sharp as a player, not not really knowing Rat and seeing that he, you know, he picked DDD against Sheik, which sounds stressful for DDD. But man, Sharp, he, uh, Rat is really impressed me here, I gotta say. Yeah. It's just, a, I, I feel like he has the mindset that most heavy mains have. It's like, I said it earlier, but yeah, you know you're just gonna take a bunch of damage, but you can hang on and get like the right read, you can kill yeah. really early. A dash attack, man. 76 after the hit. Yeah, that's insane. Especially with the rage, too. Crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I also like uh, Sharp's play there as well. Um, I don't think he got too complacent with the lead, and uh, he also recognized the fact that even though he was winning, like he could, uh, definitely die at any time if he, you know, mm -hmm. gets too reckless. So he stayed safe. Oh, but we have a Wario counterpick okay. coming out. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah. Wario on Smashville against Sheik. Sounds like a special matchup for Sheik counterpick. Like, you're going to feed him. You know, he's going to end up with a ton of rage at some point. And then, obviously, if you're camping him out, he's building WAP. So it's kind of like Sheik, Sheik always kind of go in or at least get a decent mid range. And Wario can fight her with a combo game. Lives longer, has. Pretty good kill confirmed, like, I don't know, man. It sounds, sounds stressful for Sheik. You can kind of fight her in the air, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think what Sharp's banking on at this point is, uh, of course, get the combos in, and then uh, focus on the edge guards too. Just, like, try to keep winning neutral as much as possible, while yeah. also, you know, avoiding the WAP confirmed. Offstage could be a problem for Wario if he doesn't have the bike, too. And, I mean, his recovery gets significantly, significantly worse when he doesn't have the bike. So we'll see. See what Sharp come up with here. He does have needles, though. That's something that is going to help him out a bit. But man, missing that drag down confirm is not something you want to mess up. Mm -hmm. Just like when she drops her kill confirms, it gets really rough to get the kills. That's the second up smash he's hit. Surprise down and kill. She loves cruising right over your shield. You know what I mean? So if you have a good anti or up smash like that, I think you're just gonna let it rip sometimes. It's fun. That yeah. right. will do it. Lead here now for Rat, playing so well. I like the Twitch, man. This is looking good. Surprisingly, I know a lot of uh, heavy main that have a pocket Wario or like secondary Wario. Mm -hmm. I think it just kind of fits uh, their patient playstyle pretty well. Yeah. Please, but what? Oh. No way. No way, dude. That was from downtown. Yeah. Use that platform too. <laughs> he hit him right up the. He hit him right up the ledge with that. I don't think. I didn't know it was gonna connect. And I don't think uh, Rat did either. That was crazy. Yeah, that burst grenade. Um, I think it got buffed to have a little bit more knockback as well. Really? So it was actually a pretty viable kill. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Rat's thinking to use the WAP for this stock or save it. The last one. I think at this point, since it's full, you want to let it go so you can start building another one. Because now the game plan, like Chica, just can't now. There's nothing Wario can do. Oh, okay, the back catch the double jump? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that's like best, best case scenario, I would say, outside of getting the stock. Force yeah. to use the waft. Yep, absolutely. I agree, but that was smart by, by Rat there, because waft, it's such a good tool. It's so versatile. You can use it so many different ways. Okay, a bit of jab reset. Nope. Oh. Wow, my, my guy is the up smash master. I don't think I was yeah. this many up smashing. Before. It's just so good. That's just a cheap thing, you know what I mean? She's always just really pumping her honor around her shield, so. Her down smash, you. I think Sharp, you've been slightly more spacing than smashes a couple of times throughout this set we've seen so far. Forward Ooh. smash, yep. It's good. But now, now. Matt, uh, Rat's gonna be working out a half wops in here. You know what I mean? That's gonna be the win condition for him. He's gotta rack up a little bit of damage, <clears throat> let the time pass a little bit, and let the ha half wop go. Hit it up till now, and it might be the game. I don't remember when he, when, he, when he used the full wop, but the half wop is gonna be. If it's not already ready, he's close. Oh. He didn't hit that up till, but he still got the reset there with the grab. And uh, 
Okay, fourth throw bounce fish. Yeah, uh, Sharp's gonna need these like low percent strings to bring this back. Is right now it's really scary for him. I say. Mm -hmm. In in general, like uh, Rat has been playing amazing. Like he's out neutraling right now without using WAP or anything. Like he he has a thorough hold on this game. But what King Sharp can do. Ah, uh, Matt, uh, Rat fighting his way out of the, the disadvantage there with the forward air. Like, the air to air seems good, good enough for Wario in this matchup, which is bad news for Sheik. Oh, where we're living though, wow. This is an F still, by the way. I hit Rock over here. Like, that deck could do it, yep. Wow, yeah. nice turnaround there from Rat. He didn't even, I don't think he got a single WAP there, but he did use it to take a talk. It was a different command there. Very nice job, dude. And uh, this is round three. Yeah, uh, I would say seating wise, uh, Sharp has to be uh, seated game three. Pretty... My bad. Yes, yeah, so game three. But uh, yeah, seating wise, I would say Sharp would have to be seated pretty well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Might be Absolutely. I, I love the Wario plan, man. I think that's just. Uh, I think in this matchup, like she can't extend the combos the way she wants. Like you saw the forward air, Wario could just kind of move around her in the air too. Like this is. It looks like a rough matchup for Sheik, um, and, and Rat played it so well, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even outside of like needing to use the WAP to actually get kills, you're just doing so well in neutral. And yeah, uh, yeah I think the way Sharp wants to play is. is uh... Hello? Hello? Uh. Can't hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Stream? Yeah, we hear you. <laughs> All right, so you guys can hear me. I can't hear anyone else. What's up, chat? <laughs> oh, you can hear me? I couldn't hear you guys yeah. for a while. I can hear you perfectly fine. Okay, so game three. Uh, okay, he's going to switch. Okay, he's going to Joker. Yeah. You guys there? I can't see the yeah. video on um, Discord. Can you? Stretch? Yeah, yeah, I see everything. I said uh, move. Nixie. Yeah, maybe. Okay, no, maybe try. Uh, you know, we can come back. BRB. Yeah. But uh, the Joker switch here makes sense. Um, kind of similar to Sheik, and how you're gonna rack up the percent, but have a little bit easier time killing than uh, Sheik would with the threat of our sin and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, it's good. The old plug it, old unplug it, plug it back. In. Works every time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my uh, reasoning behind Sharp going to Joker here. The KO power is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the combo? I feel like uh, even she, if he, okay. even if he uh, did make it back without the the bike, the mm -hmm. Arsen counter there would have been a kill too. So I'll just yeah. really good awareness from Sharp. So I think a Joker can play the neutral where he's always jumping in or around the shield where he's getting caught a lot uh, from right with the, like we talk about the up smashes. Look at this, he's playing a lot more, but like kind of fade away, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sharp, it's a player, man. Those two options were crazy. Oh my god. Did you see that? That was so smart. He's just trying to bang and running in and get caught by the bike. That was so cool. Yeah, it's uh, always risky when uh, your opponent has the bike when you're on the ledge. There's so many different ways they can kill you. You can just mess up your timing. Mm -hmm. And now this is this is pretty rough. <laughs> this is a huge lead. And the way Sharp's playing, he's just, he's yeah. not giving him any free openings. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I mean, WAP is there, so potentially if he takes his first stop, he gets a WAP from the second one. We're looking at, you know, one second fair, but that's going to be hard to do because last time... I swear, like, it was Rat who was controlling the flow of the neutral and like, doing such a good job. I don't know, he's swinging a lot more confidently against the Sheik, but now we're seeing Sharp on the Joker. I, this thing is this thing is clean, man. Yeah. For sure, like, all the strengths of his uh, Sheik are there, but he's just piling you a Joker much better in this matchup, I would say. Oh, mm. fair one is always scary. Yeah. Fair one with Joker. Yeah. And the tech chases are on point. All the rolls just getting covered. Oh, might be looking at three stock here. Okay, there it is. Yep, taking the first stock that he needs. See what you find now. I mean, 
It's a good stream here up till the walk afterwards. Could be a stock. Working with something here. Okay. Oh, oh he snagged the jump. Okay, Force sees the bike. Yeah, I, I like how his patient sharp plays at the ledge. He just mm. stays in that perfect like roll distance and just doesn't really commit to most things. Well, even uh, even like right now he's up with the last hit basically. He's just chilling because now he's our set. It's really it's looking not amazing for Rats. Okay, eh, he needed he needed that pretty bad. Yes. Boom. The boots. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he dismissed not only is Wario gone, but so is Arsene. He's like, <laughs> good job, Metro. Character switch there. Shot from man of many characters. So good to see the, the secondary, tertiary, whatever you want to call it, Joker, come in and clean up what the sheet couldn't. So that's nice job by Rap, though. I really like the way he played that. His DDD was nice, and his Wario was very nice. So. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think it could have been a rat set if Sharp didn't switch to Joker there. Yeah. Absolutely. So, that is going to be it. for the two of us strides. It was a lot of fun. Make sure you guys type an exclamation mark, donate. You set up uh, a way to support a lot of different funds that are very important for the BLM movement that's going around right now in America. So please check that out. Donate what you can. Um, thanks a lot. Strides, thanks. And uh, House of 3000, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm signing off here. So. Strides. Thank you. Else? Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's been really great to support such a, a good movement, this mm. tournament. And um, just appreciate everything. Again, just get that exclamation mark. Donate if you want to you know, support the cause. 